I am Jenny. I have overall nine year experience in IT industry. Hello all. Welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. And today in this video, we are going to see the importance of uses of slicer and how to hide or show the slicer in the report. And you may think when what is the use of performing show or hide the slicer? When you do that, you get more space in the report and the report look neat. So without delay, let's start doing it. So first I'll take a year. So just take a year and put it in an empty space in the report so that it will not affect any of the visuals. And you can just click the slicer. I want the slicer to be vertical. Just go to format and go to slicer setting and click the style. And as of now, it is in between style. And I want you can choose any of the style you want, either tile or drop down or vertical. And I like to choose the vertical list. So now our slicer is ready and we can do some coloring also. Just go to general, click effects and take the color to be anything you want. So as you know, like slicer is nothing but whatever the data you put it in the slicer based on that the visuals will be filtered. So now I have taken only like year. My data set has only two years. That is the reason it is showing only two years. So when you click 2013, all the visuals in the report will be filtered based on the data of 2013. When you click 2014, all the visuals will be filtered based on the 2014 data. So just I'll give a small like, little explanation about this. In, it just the first visual shows you in 2014 how much profit they got for each month. And in the second this visuals, if you see, it just shows you how much sales has happened for each product in 2014. So whatever you, data you choose in the slicer based on that, the visuals will be filtered. And in the third visuals, it shows you country wise how much profit they have got for each product. So now our slicer is ready. So to perform show or hide, we, we want to do a few more things. Just go to insert and we will be taking some shapes, click shapes, and you can choose many of the shapes you want. I just want to take rectangle. Just drag it and put anywhere you want to show the slicer. So just drag it. And you can just check change the colors also. Just make it style and make it this and just drag this slicer inside. And we want one more uh, slicer. We will take a product. Just put it in empty space, drag it inside. Arrange it properly and here already and go to now view selection pan. So here, whatever the elements we have taken, we have to name it. Naming is very important so that you will not get confused. So now if you click this, it will show you what you have selected. So first we will go with the slicer. So it is here slicer. So just double click it so that you can edit it. So next is like shape. So that is a rectangle. So I like to name it as rectangle only. So next, what is this table? This table, I want it as slicer. So click the slicer and you can name it as product slicer. And next here, what the main thing is, if I had to, we have to arrange in a Z order. So here the we have to keep all the slicer at the top of the rectangle, right? So the rectangle should be down. And other things should be at the top so that it will be visible. If you are not keeping following the Z order, whatever the slicer or any buttons you keep on the top of this rectangle, it will go down to the rectangle it cannot be visible so always you should follow this z order so next we want one button so go to insert and take button and you can choose left arrow 
just drag it and keep it inside the rectangle. So now our slicer panel is ready. So now we will just do some alignment. And here, whatever, like already we formatted, right? So go to home, click Format Painter, and click over this. So what does happen now? Whatever the format you have done for this slicer will be copied to other slices using this Format Painter. So now everything is done. So now we have to take this slicer to the next level, which is like hide and show. To perform that, we will be putting all these in one group. So for that, just click the control key and select all the slicers and the buttons. So click the year slicer, product slicer, buttons already selected, then click the rectangle. And now right click it, click group and make a group. So now all these element has come into one group. So let's name this, double click it and we can name it as slicer, slicer panel. So now all these element will be act as one in selection. So here, as usual, you can you can individually select the slicer like normally. OK, that will not this slicer. The group slicer will not affect any of the functionality of the slicer here. As usual, you can click any of the data you want and based on that, the visuals will be filtered. But here, when you put all this element into one group, it will easy up our work when we are performing the bookmarks that I will explain a little later. So now everything is done. Now we to activate the slicer to be hide or show. We want some bookmarks. So for that, just go to view. Take bookmarks. So bookmarks are the technique which is used to take the snapshot of the current status of the visuals and we can go back and forth between the bookmarks. For our requirement, we need two bookmarks. One is to show the slicer and one is to hide the slicer. So first let's add the bookmark. So double click it so you can name it here. Show slicer. And one more we want for and that is we can name it as hide slicer. So what should happen when you click the hide slicer? All these elements should be hidden, right? So just click the main group name. So all got hidden. That's the advantages of having as one group. So when you and after doing this, you have to click the update so that whatever the changes you have performed for this will be get activate. So next, when you click this, it should show the slicer, right? So then it should show the slicer. So after performing this again, go and do update. If you did not do update, whatever the changes you have linked with this bookmarks and the selection pan will not be activated. OK, now a slicer is ready. So now to perform this action on this button, we have to link this low show slicer and hide slicer with this buttons. So click this button. Go to action on the action, expand this, check the type to be bookmarks and here bookmarks to be what do you want to do hide slicer and we can add some tool tip also so that you will get some text when you keep the mouse over the button so let's write like hide slicer and in the desktop one more thing is when you want to activate the button directly if you go and click the button it will not activate you have to click the control key and double click it so now we able to perform the hide slicer right so now the next option you want to show the slicer what you can do we want a button again so already i just downloaded and kept a button so and you can take the buttons from insert image so now again you have to link the this bookmarks with this button so click it here and go to action expand this check the type to be bookmarks then bookmarks to be show slicer and as usual we can write some tool tip go to here and you can write show slicer so now done so again we have if you want to click it in the desktop you have to click the control and double click it you got the 
slicer back to the report so whatever you whenever you feel to show the slicer you can using the buttons you can show the slicer and you can hide the slicer as normally whatever you want you can just click it and filter the slicer so now we easily be able to perform the whole show or hide slicer using the buttons and bookmarks i hope you all enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and share it and if you are finding us for the first time please subscribe it see you in the next video thank you